guys welcome back to my channel first off i just want to say thank you for almost 400 subscribers wow I, I, that's like unbelievable so um also i just wanted to say thank you to all my mukbang family you guys have just been wonderful i just can't thank you enough for showing me love i appreciate you guys so much um also when you're um looking at the video don't forget to like share and subscribe share with your friends, family, share with anyone, um, because you never know who might like the, the video. So I appreciate you guys so much. I just wanted to start off with that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have something a little bit different. I have some Popeye's chicken, but it's deboned, and I have some eggs, and I have some jasmine rice. And to wash it down, I have some Arizona uh, Muncho Mango cocktail. And it's just like a punch. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My day is going good so far. I found um, Slap Your Mama Hot. So I've always been a big fan of Slap Your Mama, but I saw um, Slap Your Mama Hot and I was like, wow, I have definitely got to try that. So I have some Amish butter in here, some eggs, some garlic, um, and I sauteed it all together. And I put some buffalo sauce on it and also some Slap Your Mama um, shake on it, seasoning. So um, let's dig in, see what it tastes like. I just actually removed the middleman so we don't have to fight with the bones. So let's dig in. I'm using my hand, so. Mm. It's good. I didn't put too much because I didn't want it to be too spicy. But it has a really good flavor to it. I love onions, so I put a lot of onions in there. And I do like the skin as well. Mm. Mm. It's good. Guys have to try this. <laughs> I seriously didn't want to have to fight with the bones, so. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty good. I do have a topic today. Kind of want to talk about layers of a person. people have layers and what that means is it's like it's like an onion you know how you peel back the layers to get to the middle part a lot of people never really get to know a, a per, how a person really is because they don't know how to pull back the layers but I feel like if you're genuine kind to someone and just just be real with them the layers will start pull, pulling back by themselves so that's kind of really what i wanted to talk about just being kind to people i was in the store today and i had a few items and it was a couple people that didn't have much item, many items. One lady was just getting gas. And I said, you know, ma'am, you can go ahead and go ahead of me. And she just looked like, she just had this plain look on her. It was like, she didn't say, oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it or anything. She just like, and I was like, <laughs> I told the cashier, I was like, wow, I guess somebody's having a bad day or something today. And um, it was another guy. I let him go ahead of me, too. And he just had this plain look on his face like, he didn't say thank you or anything. I was like, wow. And these weren't little kids. They were older. I'm not going to say old, but they old enough to know better. So let's just start teaching our kids better. Like, wow. Oh, my God. Be nice to people. 
especially when somebody's going out of their way to be nice to you. Okay. A lady was at the store and she was just like, yeah, I run into a lot of people like that. I said, I bet you do. <laughs> That's one job I really want, want wouldn't want to do is retail. Because you run into so many different people. And I understand, you know, sometimes you have a bad day. I mean, everybody does, but it doesn't give you the right to just be mean to someone, you know, because you're having a bad day. It's called life. <laughs> we all have to do it. Another topic I kind of wanted to discuss today. And I'm not saying any names or anything like that, but we had um, one of our employees to pass away about a week or so ago. And she was, I'll just say 40. And she just fell over and died. But when she died, she was doing something that she really wanted to do in life. She was trying to be a nurse. This had been a dream of hers. So she was just working, 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 and going to school. And so when I got wind, you know, that she had passed away, it just really saddened me because I didn't know her, know her like that. But her story alone was sad, you know, like she was 40 years old, working hard, going to school every day, you know, just striving to be something that she always wanted to be a nurse and you know at the end you know she didn't get to be a nurse but she was doing it you know it's the effort that you put into it so it's just truly sad to um see someone in that situation still so young full of life and um you know their life has just ended like that I, um like i said she just fell over and died and i know that was you know devastating for the family but it was all of a sudden so she left home that morning and never made it back so her mother and her father had to bury her um It just makes you really want to hold your family a little bit tighter, you know, because you never know when your last day is. So, just be mindful of people's feelings and things like that, guys. Because it's really not easy, you know, to deal with that life, period. And then when people are being mean to one another, that makes it even worse. It's like, really? So, I don't wanna preach to you guys or anything like that. I just wanna just share a couple things that happened to me, you know, last week and this week so far. Mm -hmm. Just try guys to be nice to people because you never know what someone is dealing with at home what their situation may be it doesn't matter how old you are you can be a little kid you can be you know an adult we all have issues that we go through so just be mindful of people's feelings that's pretty much what i really want to talk about you know the layers of people and just being kind to one another hmm I just wanted to share this meal with you guys too. It was an idea that I had. I was like, you know, we're always online and we're um, always pulling the meat off the chicken and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let's just debone it. <laughs> Save a step. <laughs> and I wanted to try to see how this um, onion and buffalo sauce and um, slap your mama was gonna be. It turned out to be really good. 
Food loop meal. Something different. So, I'm not really going to stay out here long. I just wanted to put a video out today and talk to you guys. Check on you guys. See how you guys are doing. I'll give you a nice little word. And I hope that you guys can carry that in your heart. You know, even if you can't, even if you're having a bad day and you can't, you know, verbally say something, if someone's being nice to you, at least just, you know, give a little smile or just say thank you or something like that, you know, instead of just saying, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, this is pretty good. Mm. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the meal as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, happy eating.